Well, welcome to Max Car Models. I'm in the process of building the Tamiya Morris Mini Cooper 1275S Rally Monte Carlo winner. And this time I promised I would do some seatbelts and I've been searching around the internet and I cannot find anything that says how to make these seatbelts. This is the instruction set for another set, not these ones, um, but they're very, very similar. And they're the Sparco seatbelts from HGW Models in Czechoslovakia probably about the leading manufacturer of seat belts out there. Uh, right, what have we got? Firstly, we've got the seat belt material. Um, it's blue on the back. I have to probably try and get rid of this tape. I don't know if it's going to come off. But a blue tack. And we've got some photo etch bits of the buckles and all that kind of stuff. And some cardboard doesn't come with instructions, so the instructions are on the internet. Um, so, let's see, yeah this is um, not going to come off easy, but I think it should be well hidden. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have a go at making this bit here. I'll worry about this a bit later and we'll see what we come up with. So, uber sharp knife, I prefer these, and a ruler. And let's cut the edge very, very carefully. And there we have it. Let's spin it around. Another cut. And then we've got a cut here. Kind of goes in a bit. And we've got another cut here. Sharp knife is absolutely essential on this, and critical to be honest. And one tiny last cut here, and there it is. Okay, so we've got a bit of trimming to do down there. Okay, so we've cut our first part of the seat belt out. You can see it's got Sparco written on there. So now they say you should scrunch it up. This feels like card to me, not textile. But what it says is we need part number one. Um, let's get another knife out. Some tiny, teeny, tiny tweezers. Okie dokie. Alright, so now we have part number one, which apparently we feed that into. Really? Yes, that's a. Uh, oh, I see. It says fold it back. Um, so let's take that like that. And it says as we've done that, let's see how tiny this is. Put a blob of super glue on it. Right, so we have some super glue. 
Uh, probably going to need a pin for this one. I'll use a cocktail stick. Okay, so we got our first little clip on there, if you can probably make that out. Absolutely tiny, teeny tiny. Uh, next thing it says is take part number three. And I don't remember which one's which now. And place it through there. You can see now why they give you lots of extra bits on this. I honestly can. Um, it's just to bend that up. Yep. I think I'll do that once I've got this onto the seat belt actually. Feed it through like so. And bring that back around there. Well, it's the first time I've ever done one of these seat belts actually. Um, so all we do is put a little dribble of. on there like so and clamp that all together with the tweezers okie dokie so we have now got our next turn buckle on as we can see uh, there it is very very tiny let's let that super glue dry for a little while Ow. And then it says take part number two, <clears throat> which is this here. So I suppose we've got to cut that out as well. Um, let's move that out of the way. So we're going to cut this out. Carefully, all the dotted lines, so it says. I'm just cutting this out. Okay, so there's number two. Um, I think I do. So I put the little fix in. Oh no, it says I need the number two this time, which is one of these. not used to working with photo etch actually so this is completely 
foreign to me in many respects. So let's just feed this through here. so fiddly um. I really should get my magnifier out I suppose Better. Okay, I'll have a little bit of silver glue on. together and hey presto there's that one all right so get another little buckle on there and what we're gonna do is it says we should pull it through from the back Out a bit of skin gum, uh, yeah, okay. So now we're just going to put a So, we've done our first shoulder strap and pretty much going to continue along those lines for a little while longer. Um, well, welcome back. Um, as you can see, the first seat belts have been made now. Uh, zoom in, you see them. Um, really recommend a pair of very fine point tweezers on this. Angled ones are much better than the straight ones. Um, but I've got all the nice articulation in here. Um, and you're going to need a nice sharp X-Acto knife, a steel ruler, and I found out why they leave you with extra belts on these. Um, quite frankly that's because you will make a mistake in the instructions on the website it says scrunch them up um, I really don't recommend you do that with this particular set um, the other thing I really 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 recommend if you're going to do this is having a, a lip magnifier as you can see I've got mine it's still going um, very very worthwhile investment they're not expensive you can get them on eBay for a few pounds so thank you for coming in and uh, 